Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome today to this beginner yoga series. Let's start in a child's pose. You can widen the knees, lower the forehead down on the mat and extend the arms in front of you. Taking a moment here to arrive on the mat. As you close the eyes, start to take long deep breaths in and out through the nose. Relaxing your face muscle, the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. Taking this moment to arrive on the mat, to ground yourself. And keep doing long deep breath in and out through the nose, filling up your lungs every time you inhale. And start to lift the head off the mat, lifting the glutes off the feet, rounding through the spine, coming to a tabletop position. As you get here, open the chest, look up, deep breath in through the nose, and exhale, send the hips back. Let's do it again, round through the spine, shifting the way forward, tabletop position. Open the chest, look up, deep breath in, exhale back. Keep doing this movement, transitioning between child's pose and cat cows to warm up the spine, to create space, linking each movement with the breathing. Let's do it one last time, coming back into a tabletop position, then tuck your toes, lift the knees, hips up and back, down dog. Taking a moment here to settle into the space, deep breath in through the nose, and a deep sigh out through the mouth. Feel free to bend the knees, making sure your back is extended and you're really grounding here into the space. One last deep breath here in stillness. And as you exhale, bend the knees and start to walk with the hands towards your feet, allowing the head to be very heavy. Gently swinging side to side here, shifting the weight a little bit more on your toes. Slowly start to unroll the spine, rising up one vertebra after the other one. Starting to come up with the head and bring the arms over the head, take a deep breath in through the nose, gentle back bend. And as you exhale, fold Uttanasana, forward fold. Cross the hands behind the back, palms together and start to push with the hands over the head, allowing the head to be heavy, creating space, lengthening. One last deep breath here. And as you exhale, release the hands down on the mat and start to walk forward with the hands transitioning back into down dog. Then shift the way forward, come into plank, holding plank for a moment, keeping the gaze forward, then lower the knees down on the mat. Open through the chest and start to walk forward with the hands, lowering the forehead down on the mat, but keeping the hips in line with the knees. Keep holding your extended puppy pose, creating space in between the shoulder blades, creating space in the chest. In using the breath, so every time you inhale, look for the space. And as you exhale, gently push the chest a little bit closer to the floor. Then slide forward, lowering the belly down on the mat for Sphinx pose. Engage the space in between the shoulder blades, engaging the glutes, deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Place the left hand at the center of the mat, bend the right leg and hold on to the foot or the ankle, guiding the heel closer to the glute for a quad stretch. Then as you exhale, start to push away with the foot, gently lengthening through the shoulder. One last deep breath here. And then as you exhale, release, this time place the right hand at the center of the mat. And let's repeat on the other side. So we're going to bend the right leg, holding onto the foot and guide the heel to the glute for a quad stretch. Taking a moment here. Then as you exhale, push away with the foot, lengthening through the shoulder. And as you exhale, guide the heel closer to the glute and push away. Then release both hands down on the mat, lower the floor down on the floor, hands underneath the shoulder, moving the hips side to side. Then lift yourself up, come into a tabletop position. We're going to lift the right arm up, look up, deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, lower right shoulder down on the floor, sending the gaze towards the right hand, twisting. 
taking a moment here, deciding how much weight you want to place on the right shoulder without forcing it. And keep doing long deep breath in and out through the nose. Then slowly start to rise back up, reaching up with the right arm, opening to the right side, extending the right leg out along for a support a set plank. Extend the right arm over the head, deep breath in through the nose. Then bring the right arm towards the right foot, lift the right leg off the mat, bend the right leg and hold onto the foot. From here start to kick away with the foot, lengthening through the shoulder, engaging through the glute, deeper in and out through the nose. As you exhale, release coming back into a tabletop position. Then open the chest, look up deeper in through the nose and as you exhale, round gaze towards the navel. Return back into a neutral position to repeat on the other side, left arm up, look up, deep breath in and as you exhale, twist, lowering the left shoulder down on the mat. Gaze follows the left hand, deep breath in and out through the nose, deciding how much weight you want to place on the left shoulder. Then rise back up, left arm up, opening to a supported side plank and extend the left arm over the head, lengthening the side of the body. Reaching back up with the left arm, lift the left foot off the mat, then bend the leg holding onto the foot and start to kick away, gently lengthening through the shoulder, deep breath in and out through the nose. Release coming back into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift the knees and send the hips up and back, down dog. Then lift the right leg up for a three leg down dog. Then as you exhale, step forward, right foot in between the hands and rise up with the arms for crescent lunge. Hold onto the balance, steady pose. Cactus the arms, open the chest, and then extend the arms again over the head. Let's do it again, cactus the arms, and extend. And last one, cactus the arms, open the chest, and extend, opening into a warrior two. Gaze follows the right hand. Deep breath in. Another deep breath out, rotate the right palm towards the ceiling, bring the arm over the head for reverse warrior. Lengthening the side of the body, keep bending through the right leg. And rise back up, right forearm on the right thigh, left arm over the head for extended side angle. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Shift the gaze towards the floor, lowering the left hand down on the mat. Pivot over the left foot and reach up with the right arm. Then lower the left knee down on the mat, holding onto the twist. Extend the right arm behind you. Bend the left leg and hold onto the left foot, guiding the heel to the glute. If this is not accessible, keep holding your twist, extending the left arm behind you. Then release both hands down on the floor, stepping back to plank. Bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Open the chest, Cobra or Half Dog. And as you exhale, lower all the way down on the mat. Extend the arms behind you, take a moment here, and as you exhale, lift the head, shoulder and feet off the mat. Activating the entire back of your body. Keeping the gaze forward, deeper in and out. And as you exhale, release, taking a moment here in stillness. Reconnect with the breathing, releasing any tension in your back. And place the hands underneath the shoulder, tuck your toes and lift yourself up, send the hips up and back down dog. Then lift the left leg up, three leg down dog, shift the gaze forward, stepping forward with the left foot, rising up with the arms, crescent lunge. Cactus the arms, opening through the chest and extend. Again, cactus the arms and extend. Last one, cactus the arms, open the chest and extend, opening to a warrior two. Hold warrior two, deep breath in and a deep breath out. Rotate the left palm towards the ceiling and bring the arm over the head for reverse warrior. Rise back up, left forearm on the left thigh, right arm over the head, extend the side angle. One more deep breath here. 
And then release the right hand down on the mat, pivot over the right foot and extend the left arm up. Gaze follows the left hand. Lower the right knee down on the mat, extending the left arm behind you, bend the right leg and hold onto the foot, guiding the heel to the glute. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Shift the gaze towards the mat, framing the left foot, tuck your right toe and step back to plank. Lower the knees down on the mat, bend your elbows, rolling all the way down to the floor. This time you got the option to repeat the same thing that we did before, lifting the feet, hands on them off the mat. Otherwise you can bend the legs, holding onto the ankle and starting to kick up and back for bow pose. Whatever you choose is completely fine. Just keep opening through the chest, engaging the back of the body. Constant and steady kick. And as you exhale, release. Taking a moment in stillness. Or maybe come into a child's pose, starting to run through the spine and lowering the forehead down on the mat. Gently closing the eyes. Slow the heartbeat down, slow the breathing down. And slowly start to unroll the spine, starting to rise back up. Coming to sit for a moment on the heels and then lift the glutes off the mat. We're going to work into camel pose. I'm going to come at the center of the mat so you can see me better. Then place the hands on the hips and start to engage through the glutes opening through the chest, drawing the shoulder blades together, sending the gaze towards the ceiling. You can stay here if you want to go deeper, you can tuck your toes and hold on to the heels, making sure you're still pushing glute forward with the glutes opening through the chest. Third option, you can still hold on to the feet as you untuck your toes. It really doesn't matter how deep you go, the most important thing is that this feels good in your body. And as you're ready, start to rise back up, coming to sit for a moment on the heels and close the eyes. Noticing any sensation in the spine, slowing the heartbeat down. Taking this moment here in stillness. Then open the eyes and let's come to sit on the mat. Keeping the legs bent for a moment, hug the thighs in, lowering the forehead towards the knees and rounding through the spine. Take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Close in the eyes. Now let go of your thighs and extend both legs out and long, preparing for Paschimottanasana. Flex the feet. Reach over the head with the arms opening through the chest, extending the spine. And as you exhale, forward fold, holding onto the foot. You can hold onto the ankle, your thighs as well. Otherwise, you can even bend the legs and hold onto the feet, guiding the belly to the thighs. Whatever you are is completely fine. Just keep breathing here, doing long deep breath in and out through the nose. Keep lengthening. Allowing the head to be very heavy. Keeping both legs engaged. One last deep breath here. And as you exhale, start to rise back up and bend both legs, coming to sit on the mat in an easy cross position. Then reach over the head with the arms, length and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist gaze over the right shoulder. Return back to the center, reaching up with the arms, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist to the left, gaze over the left shoulder. Keep lengthening here. Then return back to the center, arms up, look up, deep breath in. Exhale, release, hands in a prayer position, close the eyes. And take this moment to thank yourself for showing up today, for finding time for this practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you back for day three.